Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You're watching Urbanism Spinning. In my last video, I discussed about the impact of urban heat island effect on our built environment. I also discussed some measures to reduce it. One of the measures was having green roofs. Now what exactly is a green roof and what are its benefits? I will be sharing all the information with you on green roofs today. So let's get this show on the road. Green roof, also known as living roof, is a green infrastructure tool that provides ecological benefits to the environment. It is a layer of vegetation planted over a waterproofing system. That waterproofing system is installed over a roof. They are a progressive way of improving the overall urban design of the cities. So these green roofs not only offer environmental benefits but also act as a visual treat to the eyes because of their vibrant aesthetic properties. They bring people close to nature. As I have said many times that we human beings are evolved with nature and to keep our mental and physical health in tune, we need to be closer to nature in our daily lives. When you don't have enough space on ground to dedicate a green area to it, green roofs act as an ultimate solution. You get a different kind of leisure space with an elevated view. So what happens? Most of the designers dismiss the green roofs in their designs because of lack of technical and potential understanding of green roofs. But what they underestimate is its quality of providing cleaner air to the people. Green roofs also benefit in rainwater harvesting. Fire accidents can also be reduced through these living roofs. The evolution of green roofs began with the need to make built environments sustainable in nature. Green roof movement began in 1980s in Europe and then spread to North America and rest of the world. City like Copenhagen made green roofs mandatory since 2010. Now let's talk about the type of green roofs. Basically green roofs can be divided into two categories. Number one is extensive green roof and number two is intensive green roof. So difference between an intensive and extensive green roof is that extensive green roofs are simpler and are lower in cost. They vary in size from 60 to 80 mm. Because of this size, they can't hold lot of water and vegetation. Though intensive roofs are costly and requires more maintenance than extensive green roofs, but they can hold large sized vegetation. Intensive green roofs vary from 80 to 200 mm in size. So before designing a green roof, it is essential to analyze the requirement of the project. Another factor that you must consider while designing a green roof is the type of plant collection. Many famous green roof projects use native plant species in the design. Here are some of the famous green roof projects. All over the world, we are seeing the rise in climate crisis. Therefore, as an individual or as an architect, we need to stand up for certain measures that should be included in our design. Living roofs can be considered as one of the measures to reduce environmental stresses and to increase sustainable building practice. 
therefore, if we sum up the potential of green roofs, they offer us various benefits. Number one, cleaner air. Number two, helps in rainwater harvesting. Number three, reduces noise pollution. Number four, decreases threat of fire accidents. Number five, offers visual treat to the eyes. Number six, mitigates the urban heat island effect. Number seven, increases the urban ecology of the area. Number eight, brings us closer to the nature. Number nine, reduces the environmental stress. And number 10, increases the sustainability factor of the city. In the end, I would like to conclude by saying green roofs increase the urban sustainability and makes the city more livable and resilient. So guys, that's all for today. I hope this video was beneficial to you. Do share your valuable feedback in comment section. And if you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and family. Also, do subscribe to the channel. Bye guys, stay safe.